Hello and welcome to Darkful Dave. I am Dave and we are starting today something new and quite different than anything I have ever done before. Uh, we're going to be playing Mortal Kombat Armageddon's Conquest this Mode. And this is probably the most uh, heavily rated game that I've ever played on YouTube. So we're going to have a fun time. We're going to have a very, 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 very fun time. I think I tried doing Mortal Kombat 4 back in Darkville 99. And uh, that was the first Mario... Oh, sorry. Mario. Mario uh, Mortal Kombat game I ever played. But uh, Mortal Kombat Armageddon has a very in-depth, unique adventure mode created for the characters that were initially introduced in Mortal Kombat Armageddon. And I can't believe the way this game looks. It looks so much less primitive than I... Re I mean, more primitive than I remember. It, like, these look like PS2 graphics. I'm not gonna lie. But, um, I hope you're getting the plot because basically Taven and Dagon, two Mortal Kombat characters that were introduced in this game, are hiding because they're very, uh, they're very important. They're the ones that are meant to, uh, finish this whole thing because things are about to go down, unless they already have gone down. I forget, but you'll get the plot, we'll get acquainted with the plot as we go through the game and progress. Uh, it's really fun. It's a Mortal Kombat game, so you should know what to expect at this point. We're going to meet a lot of classic Mortal Kombat characters. And uh, here's the new face. Taven is the name of the character we're going to be playing as. So yeah, he's uh, very powerful, but he just kind of popped out of the, the stone womb, it seems. Uh, apparently that was to protect us. So we're going to reclaim our powers as we go through the game. Uh, powers, I'm sure, as you know, in Mortal Kombat language, equate to special moves and things like that. And he has a brother named Dagon, who is going to be competing with us in order to get the goods. Last I remember, Dagon and I were summoned to Father's throne room and... And there you were both rendered unconscious. I don't know the details of this quest. I was charged only with hiding you in Earthrealm and awaiting you when the time came. That time is now. No, this is all too strange. Where is my father? I wish to speak with him. I will send you to his temple. Find the main chamber and place your hand on the altar. Your father will speak to you there and present you with a weapon to use on your quest. No doubt your brother has been awakened by Carl and will be sent there shortly. Why will I need a weapon? Very well, Oren. Lead the way. I hope this game isn't too cutscene heavy because uh, I'm not crazy about uh, cutscene heavy games. One of the reasons I decided to do this was because I remember when I first played it was a couple years ago. But when I played it, I don't remember it very much, by the way. Uh, something about it jumped out at me. Like, some somewhere along the line, I thought it would be a good idea to let's play this game. And so... I'm eager to find out why why I made that decision before myself. So as we destroy the ground for you know excessive reasons, let's just get on through this. 100 coins, not a bad start. Okay, so it seems I have a kick button, punch button. Uh, that I'm guessing that's a grab. That's an uppercut. Okay, simple. Uh, block is R. All right, cool. Watch them explain this all to me in, like, two seconds. Alright, cool. Can I? Okay. This map should lead me to my father's temple. Gotcha. Noted. Alright. So. So, yeah. It's, I think one of the reasons I kind of gravitated to this is because uh, this adventure mode is basically a piece of an entire, um... You know the entirety of Mortal Kombat Armageddon, so it's it's pretty uh, toned down in terms of uh, you know gameplay. But I've always kind of dug simplistic games like this, so I think uh, that might be one of the reasons I liked it. It's just a fun, not too good game for uh, for me to play, and then we'll see what happens as a result. It's you know a basic adventure, in like the most basic sense of the word. I'm not 100%ing it. I'm just kind of doing this casually, you know, just to have a good time. And hopefully we can, you know, laugh at the, uh, you know, 
terrible parts of it, and hopefully there will be a lot of them. So here's some characters from Mortal Kombat that we already know. No one crosses this bridge. No one. We shall see. Okay, I'm beginning to remember why I decided to uh, record this. If you're not a member of the Black Dragon Clan, I'm gonna have to finish you. Okay, narrative depth. This game should win an Oscar. Okay. Gotta love the faces. We have an awe over there. And a, okay. Taven kind of looks like a wrestler. I wonder if that's his style. Oh, Gold Dragon is the name of his style. Whereas uh, uh, Cobra is a kickboxer. So let's play this game. I haven't played this game in a while, so I'm just kind of figuring everything out. Okay, uppercut? That's how you uppercut. Okay, cool. So the game mechanics kind of reflect the adventure mode, you know. I'm sure any of you guys who know Mortal Kombat, this is the way it's played. So we're gonna go through this open world adventure, and then when we run into actual characters from Mortal Kombat, we're gonna engage them in a fight, you know, a classic arcade mode fight. Alright. Ow! Okay, that's not cool. Alright. Let's see. Ooh. So that's like a heavy attack button. Let's do that. I don't know if I have a difficulty setting on right now. Uh, I don't know if there is one, but we'll see. Alright. There we go. I'm doing the same exact combo the whole time. Well, I won. Humiliated by his defeat. Uh, make no mistake. He spoke that with two exclamation points. That's how you know he means business. Okay. So, yeah. Have you guys ever played this? Uh, I don't... I Again, it's been a while since I have, so I feel pretty blind going into it. Uh, I, it's... You know, it's... <laughs> I hope this will be a fun experience for all of us. Alright, where... I, I don't know what that was either. Alright. Also, like, my TV has this weird setting where, like, I can't see what's going on. So it probably looks like I'm running around really stupidly at points, but it's one of those TVs that kind of adjusts with the light that's uh, being exposed to the room. So the screen will just get dark for no reason, apparently. Uh, I'll probably adjust the brightness on the television if I have to, but for now the coins make a pretty good indicator for where I need to go. The way is blocked. Alright. That, that completely destroyed what I was going to say. I don't know why I keep going there. Ah, okay. What's in here? David, place your hand on the monolith. I'm sorry, what? I need an adult. If I'm correct, this is a save point. What? Oh no, it's a training thing. I, I kind of remember this. Yeah. Where am I? This is a training area. O okay. Father, is that you? No, Taven. I am merely a reflection of your father. My purpose is to train you for your coming challenge. Would you tell me what this is all about? You will find your answers within the temple. This monolith was created to help you hone your fighting skills. There are others like it scattered throughout the realm. So did Taven's dad just scatter these throughout because he knew that the linear progression of the game would cause him to run into all of these? Because that's quite convenient. Maybe there's some that I just won't run into because the game won't, you know, be around there. They probably just scatter these throughout the entire continent. If Adenia even is a continent, it seems like a parallel universe. Okay, ninjas. Let's kill the ninjas. Okay, yeah, so here's my, uh, uh, training tutorial. Okay, and as you can tell, I'm using the classic controller in this run. Okay, what? YYX. YYX. There we go. B. B, roundhouse. <laughs> he went flying. Okay, kick, kick, punch, punch. Okay, fine. What? What do you- What do you mean I failed? This is a tutorial! How can you fail a tutorial? Alright. Cool. Rolling. Okay. So I can do a back- Ow. So I can do a back roll and a front roll. There we go, and I can get up from attacks. Now I'm gonna kill this guy. There we go. 
Ooh. I got some flame and roundhouse. <laughs> roundhouse. <laughs> Roadhouse. All right. I like this. Okay, so if he kicks me, 